In this video we will create this sparkling stars animation that you see on the screen in After Effects. First off we create a new composition, we'll be using this setting, so 500 by 500. The other settings are just fine, click OK. And then we'll go to rectangle tool here, click and hold, go to ellipse tool. Make sure that you have fill selected and that you don't have stroke. While holding shift we draw a circle like that. Control Alt Home to center the anchor point, Control Home to center it to the screen. We'll go to Ellipse settings here, open the settings, we go to Ellipse path 1 and we can change the size of it like that. This one is just fine, so we can go to Add and add Pucker and Bloat. We'll open the settings for this one and change the value of it, so if we increase or decrease it you'll see what happens. We'll keep this at minus 40, set a keyframe on it here at the beginning, we'll go to 2 seconds and change this to minus 80, like that so you can see the type of look we are going for. We'll give another animation to size, so we can set a keyframe here at the beginning and here at 1 second we can change this, we can set another keyframe and here at the end set another, we'll change this one to zero at the end and same, we do the same for the beginning. We'll select the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and we'll select the keyframes for size, go to graph editor and adjust the curve like that, peek into the middle. So if we take a look we have this type of animation, we'll go to 2 seconds and then press N so that we trim the work area to 2 seconds so that it will loop like that. This one is ok now so we can right click on the layer and go to layer styles and then add outer glow. So here we get the extra settings for outer glow and then here we have all the settings. If you want to change the colors, you can change the color of the glow here, but I think this one is fine. We can increase the size of the glow, so this is taking a better look now. And you can always play with other settings. You can add some noise and all that. So this one is fine. We can close the settings and then go here to create a new composition. We can call this final render change the width to change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080 click ok and then we'll add the composition that we had before so this one ctrl d to duplicate this we can move this around here press s and we can scale it down like that ctrl d to duplicate this one move it here we can press s and scale it up or down we can press R for rotation, we can rotate it like that, Ctrl D to duplicate it, move it down like that, press S, we can scale it down, Ctrl D to duplicate, or we can duplicate this one, Ctrl D, we can scale it up or down, move it around here, R for rotation, we'll rotate it like that, Ctrl D to duplicate, move it around here, basically the same process and we can trim this we'll go to two seconds and press n to trim the work area to two seconds as well so that it will loop so if we take a look we have this type of animation we can offset the layers just like that to give it a random look just like that and that's it. Thanks for watching.